Players, haters, participators, we have another problem. I didn't even think it was possible to have another problem. I've been very lucky with the other problems I've had with my Harley Davidson Sports Duress. But this one, I don't think I'm going to be so lucky. For those of you new to the channel, might be interested in buying a Harley Davidson Sports Duress, my name is Chris. I rock the CBM 10 channel. It's pretty much about my Harley Davidson Sports Duress. I bought this bad boy December 2021. So one of the, you know, the first year, not the first one by, by any means, but a sooner model, I guess. Great bike, fantastic, love it, look at it, it's sexy, it's evil beast, loud, noisy, lots of power, pisses people off. It's fantastic, it really is, I love it. I've had a few minor issues with it, nothing too crazy, it's never left me stranded. A couple little things here and there. I'm not going to talk about the transmission in this video, I promise you, I'm not going to talk about it. It's the worst. I got a mic. Try to make things sound a little better. It was $18. So for 18 bucks, if I can make the quality of the videos better for you guys, I'm spending 18 bucks. We're getting sidetracked. For those of you who don't know, 2021 Harley Davidson Sports Duress with the two brothers, two brothers, with the two brothers exhaust that I wrapped myself. Look at it. It's all wrapped up nice, nice, like a, a burrito. I put some um, pro taper handlebars on it, but you guys aren't going to see that. But it's got pro taper handlebars on it. Yes, that's from a dirt bike. I know. Don't ask. It's, it's just what I wanted. Okay, let's get to it. I bought a new truck. I had to go um, pick up some shit because I left some stuff in the truck because I'm not smart enough to empty out my truck before I give it back to the dealer. One day, we'll get there. Um, on my way there, driving, not too crazy. Well, it was midday, whatever. Not in my crazy mode yet. Um, I come to a light. Right? Yeah, I come to a stop. Like that. You see that? That's what I was doing. And um, it started ticking, tick, 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 really, really loud. Now, this bike, I think, likes to tick from my experience. Once it warms up, it likes to tick away. So it wasn't out of the normal, but this was some heavy ticking, like hardcore ticking. I'm like, that can't be good. And the engine RPM started to drop like the engine was seizing. Yay. Then the oil light comes on. More excitement. You can just imagine the flow of, of happiness running through my body, sitting at a, a red light, the engine RPMs are dropping, it's ticking, the oil light's coming on. I'm pretty sure my engine is seizing at this time. Yay, lucky me. The ticking kind of went away, the oil light went away, the engine RPMs picked up to a regular idle RPM, I guess is probably the correct way of saying it. Okay, whatever, great. Went to the dealership, did what I gotta do, started driving back, I was at work, I gotta work. You know, we have bills to pay, just like you. Driving back to work, hit, do it again, come to a red light, tick, 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 God, 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 the engine's like dying, there's no oil, sounds like, and I'm like, shit, I'm close to the dealership, maybe I'm low on oil, let's rip over to the Harley Davidson dealership, rip to the Harley Davidson dealership, yeah, yeah, sure, we can top you up, boom, takes like hardly any oil, I'm like, great, so that's not the issue, drove away, great, same thing happened again. So, my guess is, and I'm not a motorcycle mechanic, I have a garage and some old parts in the wall and some tools in here, you know, I tinker around, I've worked at a dealer, motorcycle dealership, just tinkering, I'm a tinkerer, and I like to tinkle my tinkles, um, I'm not a mechanic by any means, but engine tickens, RPMs drop, oil light comes on, doesn't take a genius to figure out, you're fucked. Um, so I called the dealership. They can't get it in for two and a half weeks. So I'm probably going to rip it to the dealer on a trailer because I don't want to drive it. Uh, I'm assuming I'm just making everything worse by that happening. The tick, tick, tick. The engine RPM dropping. Sound like it's seizing. Oil light comes on. Obviously, I'm starving of oil. So maybe uh, there's an oil pump that's failing. But only when I go slow, something in the oil pan. Then I hit my brakes. It goes forward, picks up the oil pump collector and i don't know something in there that's starving it of oil i don't know what the hell it is but right before it ran out of warranty last year so i was like you know what i'm gonna buy an extended warranty oh by the way this is the first new motorcycle i've ever owned in my life and i've been rocking bikes for 30 some odd years now i always buy older ones they've been great you know, hondas yamahas kawasaki's i got a new gold ring right there it's beautiful check my videos on that one the thing's fantastic front end's a little loosey-goosey but whatever that's a whole nother video I've never had any issues, real main issues with any of those bikes. A couple little things here and there, whatever. Old bikes, a little bit of maintenance, shocker. 
First new bike, first bike with warranty. I've never had a motorcycle with so many issues. Now, I don't want to sit here and knock it. I've made enough videos about this bike and how it's caused me issues, how to go back to the dealership, back to the dealership, back to the dealership. And, and I, I don't want you to think that this has been a negative experience for me. I've had some negatives with it and I've been pissed off about it and, I, and I've talked to you guys about it. I'm kind of like, you know what? I want to just kind of be more positive, better videos, happier videos, you know, uplifted videos. But I can't. It's it's having that issue now. And my transmission still sucks. I said I wasn't going to talk about it, but it's it's the worst. Leave in the comments, please, if you can. If you've had this issue where your oil light comes on, please tell me what happened, what the fix was, what went on there. I would love to hear it. Now, if you're thinking about buying one of these bikes, don't let my videos deter you. They build thousands of these motorcycles. I'm sure there's thousands of guys and ladies out there that have been driving them, have been doing just fine, hammering on them and having uh, zero issues. Fantastic, I hope. Because I love this bike. The feel, the, the drive, the look. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Uh, the noise, the power. I love all of it. I really love it. I wish it would just not fuck me over. I wish I could just get on it, hit the button, drive away, and go have my fun and park it. Main maintenance, you know, do my maintenance, whatever it needs to be. Change my tires, change my oils, change my air filters, do this, do that, do this. I'm all cool with that stuff. What I'm not cool with is when I can't ride the bikes I'm paying for or purchase because of shit that shouldn't be happening. That pisses me off. So here I am making a piss off video. And I don't want to make a piss off video. I'm done making piss off videos. I want to just go out and ride and have a good time. That's that's why we all have motorcycles, right? You get on them, forget about everything, go have some fun, maybe piss a person or two off, throw a smile on your face, get that scared, you know, like, woo, that was close. I was going too fast. Get that adrenaline ripping through your body. Because that is what motorcycles are all about, as far as I'm concerned. Having fun, getting out in the open road, just ripping. Like, you know, we're all way too busy. We all deal with too much shit in our life. And these are our escapes. And now my escape to get away from all the bullshit that life has to throw me is causing me bullshit. It's too much bullshit. Look, I had to cut the sleeves off my shirt because it was covered in bullshit. It's just too much. I'm going to bring the bike back to Harley Davidson. I'll throw it on the trailer. Bring it. I'm not going to load in the back of my truck because that's too much work. You watch that video. That was, a, I made it look nice because of editing, but it wasn't nice. It was pain in the ass. And I almost died. My back almost fell off into my rear pocket, and then I had to go to a back doctor and hit this little back of my back. And that's a long story and a lot of work. I hope it's something simple. I hope they can dump the oil pan on it. Oh, yeah, there was some dues in there, whatever it may be, that caught up in the oil pump. We removed it, did an oil change. Everything is all good. High five, Chris. Thanks for coming in. See you later. That's the best case scenario, I think, maybe. I want best case scenario because I just want this to be my happy place again. And I bought it to be my happy place. You know, and I like making these videos. I can make more, but man, I got no time. Jesus, I need some time. If any of you have any spare time, throw it in the comments. Tell me how I can get that spare time from you because I need it. But if you're going to buy a Harley Davidson Sports Dress, buy one. If you're going to buy a used one, maintenance records, whatever, service records, get that stuff. Because if it's had some issues, maybe walk away from it. And if it hasn't, maybe buy it. But buy a new one, get a full warranty, buy an extended warranty, beat the shit out of it, and move on with life. I hope that makes sense. That's it. That's all I got for you. Appreciate the watch, guys. Hit the likes. Hit the subscribe. Hit the share. Share this video with anybody thinking about buying a Harley Davidson Sports Dress. And please... If any of you have had this issue, leave in the comments. Tell me what I'm about to expect, what I should expect, what the fix was, what you're doing, what you've gone through. I would love to hear it. Really, I would. I do read all the comments. I don't reply to all of them because I just I don't. Okay? Some of them I do. Some of them I don't. I'm allowed, damn it, not to reply to everything. Stop hating on me. Please subscribe to the channel. Until the next one, peace out, players.